Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, please hammer, don't hurt him. Dick Smasher is an 11.3% Imperial Stout from Batch Brewing Company in Detroit, Michigan. Well, that name isn't intimidating at all. With a name like that, I was expecting it to be an IPA, and honestly, I never thought I'd see this on store shelves. But lo and behold, here it is today. Now, I don't know a whole lot about Batch besides what you can read online, but what I do know about them is I've never had a single beer that was not solid from Batch Brewing. I reviewed a few, and in 2018, my beer of the year was their Rainbow Colors Blended, so to say I'm pretty amped about this one is a bit of an understatement. But the new motto here for the channel is hype is the beer killer. And since I buy all this beer myself, I got to play it straight. With all that out of the way, let's take a look at the label and get it into a glass. Fun fact, Batch was Detroit's first nano brewery, and they just celebrated their fifth birthday. So taking a look at the label here, this is a bit of a, a departure for Batch, at least from what I can you know, remember. Almost all their labels seem to be white or they have you know, predominantly white, and this one is black. It stark stands out from the rest of their collection. We'll talk about the front first. On the front, in this kind of metal, uh, you know, heavy metal kind of font here, it says Dick Smasher, and it is a picture of a skull being smashed with a hammer on an anvil and a bunch of skulls laying around it. The skull bears a bit of a resemblance to, uh, to its namesake, the Dick Smasher. It looks a little bit like a, like a phallus, but Maybe I'm just reading into that. I don't know. So then on the back here, it says Dick Smasher, Imperial Stout, and Batch's motto, Beer Makes Me Happy, and the Batch Brewing Company logo. And then underneath that, it says Roasted and Caramel Malts Create Dark Toffee and Espresso Flavors. Sweet but not syrupy, brewed with star anise. And then had, this is a thing that I've said before. I always say this when I see a Batch beer. I love that they have this little kind of chart on the bottom. It says alcohol 11.3%, and then it has like a line that represents how much alcohol or how, however much of the description it's talking about, and then a line that shows how far on the scale it is. So alcohol is 11.3% by volume, like I mentioned earlier. Perceived bitterness, which, you know, for most beer drinkers, it's more of a beer brewer thing. IBUs don't really mean a whole bunch to, to most of us. People think, oh, a lot of IBUs, super bitter. It doesn't work that way. 49 IBU, regardless. Color 56 SRM, which I'm not sure exactly what that is. And then body smashing. And then produced at Batch Brewing Company in 1400 Porter Street, Detroit, Michigan. If you ever head down to their tap room, right across the street or real close is uh, Brew Detroit. So I'm going to grab a little snifter glass here, which I want to do with this kind of this kind of beer, this style. I don't have a date on the can, but I can tell you this was just released in stores within the last few, maybe week or two. And we're going to go ahead and crack it open. So not a whole lot of a pop on cracking the can, and sometimes that can happen with higher ABV beers, stouts. I'll uh, put a nose on the can, though. Hmm, it smells a bit chocolatey, like I'm getting a chocolatey kind of aroma. My sniffer is pretty, pretty garbage, so I'm not getting a whole lot of just bursting flavors out of the can. I'm almost, just the nose to me is almost like a root beer kind of quality. I don't know if it's going to smell like that in the glass, but let's pour it in there and then we'll be able to see for sure. Really dark coming out of the can, not super syrupy. It actually looks a little bit thin in a way out of the can. I can see through the beer. If I put my finger through there, I could, well, maybe not see it so much, but I feel like I can almost see directly through the can itself. Put the glass, pouring it, I do have much more of an aroma. Much, much more of an aroma came out after churning up all that beer in the glass. If you can see the head here, I've got easily two fingers, maybe even two and a quarter fingers of head. It is a dark coffee kind of colored head. It's not super dark, but it's a lot darker than tan. It's like almost on the brown side of tan. It's not khaki. It's a little bit darker than that. And the bubbles, you can see beautiful head, uh, really super tight, compact bubbles, a little bit of popping ones on the top. The cross section has a pretty even distribution of larger bubbles, medium bubbles, and then a whole lot of really tight, compact, small bubbles. It's just a really good looking uh, head on this beer. So let's go ahead and hold it up. Holding it up, it has a really dark quality. It's totally opaque. You can't see through that in the bulb. Again, there's a little bit of a crimson kind of dark brown coloration to it. 
maybe even borderline purple, but it's a little bit actually kind of on the light. It's a little light. It looks a little bit thin, but again, that's just on the bulb. Seeing through the beer though, totally opaque, not seeing through that. And a nose on the glass here. Yeah, a little bit, still kind of picking up a, a bit of a kind of a root beer note almost, like a licorice, black licorice kind of note. Just a real tiny bit, but a lot of chocolate comes through in there. Maybe a bit of caramel, but I'm getting a lot of chocolate, a lot of that kind of licorice-y, kind of root beery aroma, and that's just me. That's what I'm picking up. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Cheers. That's got a really nice little bit tipping the scale from medium to kind of like a almost heavy kind of mouthfeel. Very sweet character up front. But I can tell you right now, because talking and kind of air hitting my tongue and the, the beer kind of settling, the aftertaste is super rich, fudgy, chocolate, almost like a cocoa kind of powdery kind of flavor in there. It's a really nice aftertaste, a really nice finish. Up front, getting, especially on the swallow, getting a real um, milky, chocolatey flavor. Not a dark chocolate, not a bitter chocolate, not a baker's chocolate, but a nice um, milk chocolatey kind of flavor in there. It's really, uh, it's really good. It, it kind of makes me want to just keep drinking more and more. You know, I mentioned getting a bit of a root beery kind of aroma. I almost feel like when I take a drag into my mouth and kind of swish it a little bit and as it thins out, you know, you take a swallow, but you keep a little bit more in there and it kind of thins out. I get like this root beery kind of quality in that in that in that flavor as well and that taste. But it's not off putting. It's not like, why does this taste like root beer? That's totally not doesn't match everything else. But it kind of does like you get that root beery quality, but it's not biting. It's really subtle. It's a sweetness. It's got a sweet kind of, um, you know, subtle flavor. That might be the star anise. I'm not really totally um, familiar with what that flavor is. So maybe that's what that is. And then again, it turns into this real nice, sweet, milky chocolate. And on the finish, it just has this really nice, uh, bitter, not super bitter, but like a dark cocoa, dark chocolate, dark, dark chocolate flavor. That is 11.3%. The booziness is non-existent. Super dangerous. Like, I don't taste, this doesn't, it doesn't go down like it's 11.3% Imperial Stout. There's not a boozy aftertaste. There's no burn going down. Totally, totally dangerous because if someone set this in front of me and said, hey, try this beer, it's really good. And I, you know, they gave me a glass and said, just finish it off. It's yours, you know. Have at it. I could finish one, have another, finish it, and not even realize until maybe, you know, the end of the second one, because I would tear through this because it feels, the mouth feels a little bit heavy, but, um, you know, that, that would kind of turn my gears a little bit and tell me maybe this isn't like a 4% or a 5 or a 6% beer, but the sweetness covers up any, if there is any booziness in there, any kind of boozy quality, any kind of, uh, you know, any kind of indication that this is a high ABV beer, that really nice milky chocolate flavor, that's that sweet chocolate flavor, and that maybe again, that star anise kind of flavor in there really sets it off. It totally, you know, it it, it totally hides any kind of alcohol that flavor that could be in here. And wow, yeah. Um this is so far this year, this is probably the best stout that I've had hands down. Uh, it's early in the year. Obviously, it's February. So I haven't had a whole lot of stouts to pick from, but this is the best one that I've had so far this year and quite possibly one of the better stouts that I've had in the last few months. All right, friends, that has been Dick Smasher from Batch Brewing Company. If anyone out there knows somebody at Batch, tell them to holler at me. I'd love to go talk to them, get them on, on video, bring them to you guys, but they don't return my messages. So if you know anybody there, let them know that I would love to talk to them. So have you had this one before? Do you have a favorite batch beer or do you have a favorite brewery in Detroit? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, if you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, two times on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And it's all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. And remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself. 
to a little giraffe therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.